Um, probably a bit of composure, um, taking opportunities, <laughs> um, which we lacked in the first, uh, certainly the first 40 minutes, um, where we created a lot of opportunities, like a ton of opportunities. Um, we just couldn't finish them off for lots of different reasons. Um, so yeah, like when you play a big game, it's, it's just making sure you have that level of composure, um, that there was great intent, uh, desire to do well, effort and all the rest but we just lacked that little bit of composure at different stages and you know guys going off on their own maybe doing their own thing a little bit so um but anyway we much better in the second half um and we supposed to sort of ground monster down a little bit so um yeah we're pleased to get the win and five points and move on to the next challenge so a um, very different group now here this week um and it's a great challenge for us against scarlets because um, it's a tough place to go over to uh, Wales um, and uh, we'll have some young guys featuring but these are the really exciting weeks as well. Yeah, absolutely. And it seems that the competition is such that the competitiveness included South African team that it gives more opportunity to rotate and, and give players meaningful games. Uh, but for particularly for, for the strength uh, side, the team is going to be able to be against the Scarlets again. Um, yeah, well, we've missing the guys that are in in camp, but um, it's a great window for guys that are here. So you know, these are always these are some of my favourite weeks um, when you know you're you're relying on a lot of young guys coming into the team in some cases for the very first time. So um, and we'll always all we'll remember our first appearances um, in the senior team um, for Leinster and. Um, you want to make it special for the next person that gets that opportunity to do that. So, um, and on these weeks, you tend to get some guys coming into the team for the first time. So, um, yeah, no, looking forward to the challenge. Won't be easy. Uh, short week. So, um, we try to turn the page very, very quickly today. Um, and it's just about having a good week now. So, everyone is nice and clear in terms of the plan going into the weekend. Um, Scarlet's have some players in the Welsh squad, but they have a ton of experience there as well. Um, you know, if you think the likes of Calmaphony at eight, Gar Davies as at nine, Patchell as a ten, um, Scott Williams if he's available, uh, Jonathan Davies, Johnny McNichols. So a lot of guys that have a ton of experience um at the top end of the game that haven't been picked for Wales. Um so yeah, no, we, it's gonna be a serious challenge for us, but that's exciting as well. Um and we're looking forward to it. Um, yeah, well, it was, it was a bit needs must at the weekend because we've, as we've been well documented, we've few back three guys out at the moment. Um, and yeah, no, he's played 15 for us in the past, Kieran, and um, he's a very versatile player. Um, and yeah, he's a very accomplished footballer. You, so you, so you can see how he helps out Johnny as that second receiver in um, particular, um, look dangerous in terms of taking on the line himself as well. And, um, yeah, no, it was, it was, uh, I thought it was a good performance from Kieran, and you know, we hopefully he goes well now during the course of November. Brian, just one last one for me. Do you have any updates on Tyke Furlong and how he's getting on? I know the IRF youth chapter are going to assess him uh, probably there this week, but can you give us any updates on how he's going at the moment? Yeah, well, Tyke was very close to making the game, so he just rolled his ankle on a Thursday. So um, another day, maybe we would have taken that, whatever, it's not even the chance, but just taken. He would have played the game so um anyway we took a cautious decision there and anyway time should be okay to go this week thank you uh, you know, uh john here just um, commenting what joe was saying there you've had gary ringrose on the way you've had brawley and burn at full back and o'reilly at five eight sometimes you know d- deliberate or not what what have you learned from that um well, Gary is a very good rugby player anyway. So he, when he played on the wing against the Sharks, he came off the bench and picked up man of match award. And even at the weekends, you know, so when when Kieran came off, uh, Ross moved into the centre. You see, so Ross Byrne moved to twelve, Robbie to thirteen, Gary to fourteen, uh, and Jimmy O'Brien moved to fifteen. And even like Gary's work off his wing to create that overlap, which put Max Deegan. Or sorry, uh, put uh, Kalen away, and obviously Kalen was able to fix the last defender, Jack Crowley, to put Rob Russell in the corner to give us that bonus point try. So, 
Um, you can see how good rugby player Gary is. So, um, yeah, we're we're curious to see. So you know, as the season goes on, I think you you know you need to have players that have that bit of versatility. So, um, yeah, that was uh, it's in terms of the block of six games that we've had so far. You know, there's and because of you know guys coming back late from tour, so missing round one in particular. So if you think of the block of seven games, round one and round seven, we're missing a big chunk of players. You know, with the Emerging Ireland tour, you know, our squad is smaller during that period. So um picked up a few injuries along the way and you know, so some guys have to step into different slots. So it's been useful in terms of, you know, some of those what if scenarios that tend to play out. So we've already seen some of those what if scenarios with players having to adjust and slot into different slots. Um, and particularly if you know, come to, if you think about you know, it's the the season, the nature of the season, and how big some of the games are. Um, coming off the Six Nations in particular, your what we hope is a period of playoff games. So to have some of those combinations that have already been tested at this stage of the season has been useful. Um, I guess the challenge that probably that's posed for us is at different stages we've looked a bit clunky in terms of some of the performances where we haven't quite hit our straps really yet. Um, even though we picked up some positive results. Um, some of the parts and performances are are still a bit scratchy. So um, you know, sort of, it's been a it's been a positive in one sense, but you know, there's a bit sort of realism as well that we haven't quite hit where we want to be. But again, that's the exciting part for us as a team to to see where we can get to because um, we've seen it in parts, but not necessarily consistently over even a forty minutes. We probably haven't seen it yet. Um, well, it's working okay as a strategy of creating utility players. So, but that's the way the game is as well. You know, I think you have to have players that, yeah, you have to have that ability to, to be able to slot in. Um, you know, to play that type of game where you have players that are interchangeable. You know, particularly in the back line, um, because if you have those types of players that are able to slot around, you know, sometimes then it's about well, let's get our our best players. On, on any given week, you know, so sometimes the numbers in the back can be a little bit irrelevant. Hi, Tony. Yeah, like that's the thing. It means so much to them to get the opportunity in the first place. So, um, many guys have had to buy their time. Um, you know, some guys I'm sure were very close to getting called into the Irish squad as well. So, those guys still have a point to prove as well. So it's a bit, it's a bit of everything, isn't it? So, but these are the weeks. Yeah, like there's great energy in the building. Um, it's a different type of energy because you know guys, you know they have to step forward, and that this is. You, you, you know, it's great that they have the space to do that now. So with X amount of players not here, um, you know, it's only, we only think of this as a positive period. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to seeing how some guys go this week. As I said, like some players will be disappointed they haven't got selected, but, you know, there's, it's a, it's a window for them to showcase what they can do. Um, and for young guys stepping into the team, in some cases for the very first time this weekend, um, and hopefully we will have a few guys in 23 this week that will be get a chance to represent Leinster for the first time. It's everyone needs to feed off that level of excitement, that you know the nervous energy that they bring. So because we all wanted to do, go to go well. Um, well, he was at the game on Saturday, so um, yeah, he was floating around. Um, he has a few different connections. Um, here, obviously, Andrew Goodman from the Crusaders, Michael Alato from the Crusaders as well, um, Jason Jenkins. They would have played in Japan together in with Toyota for Blitz. So, um, um, so yeah, no, there's some good connections there. Obviously, Stewart has done some pieces with Kieran as well. Um, so yeah, no, it was great to have him in the building and just sort of sharing some of his insights into the game. You know, particularly when you have a young group, because you know, for us as as coaches, you can try to mesh the players, but you know, the level of respect that he has is just at a different level altogether. So um for all that he's achieved in the game, um, you know, won two World Cups. Um so he's a phenomenal player um and leader. So to have him here sharing some of his insights was uh, was nicely timed. Just 
yeah there's sort of there's mixed views i think on that incident i think depending on who you talk to so um yeah like it's 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 i think the officials ma- manage the situation pretty well in the game so um you know like when you have actions nowadays like i think the main thing is like for players to understand like there's the accidental piece is is not is probably not acceptable anymore so um that's the bit for players to understand um so yeah and it was dealt with on the day and um we've sort of started the conversation there today again he he's okay yeah yeah he's definitely a bit groggy at the time so as you would have seen so hence didn't return to the to the field so um but yeah no he's doing okay today